I didn't say there were 15 missions. I said we were on mission 15. Oh, okay. See, that last part wouldn't have been so boring if the combat system wasn't so bad and shallow. Yeah. Then at least you could have some fun with it. It's too blunt. But when it's so repetitive and stupid like that, it's just a slog. Ah, oh, locked in the room seat. Demon door! It's been a while since we've had one of these. No, oh, just crap. Whoa! Okay, here you can use a sub subatomic sub sub machine the gun. The subatomic yeah. machine gun. It fires four gigaton nukes every bullet. Yeah. That's basically what Pandora did in DMC4. Dante is a nuclear warhead waiting to happen. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. In advance. What? Dodge roll guns. Dodge roll guns. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Dodge roll guns. Leather. Rinse. Repeat. Whoop. Yep. Suck it, nerds. Dude, try to rank up the S combo here. With just guns. No, no, you can't do it with just guns. Shh, like, yes, no. I can. Okay. I can drink, can I? Because I'm Dante. And I am also I'm rich. God. And I'm also rich. I'm rich, Dante. Dante does have nice clothes. Oh, I got B rank, bitch. Oh, you actually, actually did it. That oh. hand almost touched my ass. You're almost groped by a spooky ghost. Whoop. Oh, but now you can. What? Or can you? Yeah. I think the way those enemies fire, like, the attacks, of, the lightning attacks just now, I think that's where they got Trish's moveset from Marvel, because Trish is a playable character. She didn't have any movesets in DMC 1. Well, she, that's a boss enemy she did have something. That's true. Yeah. I, but this is where Trish becomes notable as a second player ah! character. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you okay? I don't think you are. If I get S rank with just guns right now, this is gonna be fantastic. Yeah. Right, actually, yeah, that'll prove my point about the game even more. This is gonna how stupid it is! Ugh. Oh my god, this is worse than. <laughs> this is where you loop the guile theme, okay? Yes. Th yeah, this is worse than having a guile theme un. Come on. Come on, do it! Do it, motherfucker, do it! Do it! I wonder what happens if you get hit if you lose the combo. Oh, S rank with just submachine guns. This game is stupid. <laughs> oh God! I, all right, guys, I'm going home. See you later. Mm. <laughs> and if you kill the enemies while getting the S rank, you obtain the most orbs you can out of them. So I'm not yes. sure. Ugh. Yeah. Oh my God! That Fuck was it. That's how we're remembering it. Fuck it. We'll do it live. Try to see if any lightning moves come out of your sword while I'm DT on the ground. I ran out of double trigger. Can you go upstairs? Probably. Just out of curiosity. But yeah. the demon goats are downstairs. You know Alright, I'll check now. You know what else is downstairs? Mom, Mom! Mom! That was awkward. Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me. So we just got X rank with just guns. Seems legit. Is there anything up here? Q internet meme. What? Nothing. We ain't found shit. Nope. So we just we just wasted our time in a room where let's we go through the pervert door. Move around. Um. Oh, that's right. I have to press circle. Some of these doors you can just ram your head through and go through them. Others you have to. Have Holy shit! Sandwich. Bowling pin time. You know, I said this during the last playthrough. Not not the last playthrough, but the one we scrapped when we tried to record this game. Yeah. Yeah, that this game, back in its day, got a 4 out of 5. Okay, now it looks like we're actually doing shit. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm just I'm just stingering a bunch of them together. <laughs> and it's giving me S rank. Yeah, this game got a 4 out of 5 by Adam Sessler, of all people, back when he was in his X-Play days on G4. Uh, this game sold 1.7 million copies. And had 1.7 million dissatisfied customers. You see what happens when you get rid of good creators? Uh-huh. Uh, but like, Itsuno did three, too, didn't he? Yeah, and like, three he, was a, he works on the later games, in general, like, he does. But, I mean, he, he did but, this one, and he did three. Yeah, but except... And three was the best one in the franchise, yeah. so... This was his warm-up. <laughs> Pretty much. Everyone knows the everyone knows the first time ends really quickly, and it's not good for anyone. Then they, once you start doing it a few more times, you got the control of it. They say first impressions are always the worst, and you know what? I, I'll, I'll give the benefit of the doubt to both sides. <laughs> 
It's like uh, Quentin Tarantino said once before about making a possible Kill Bill sequel. He said, "I would love, I would love to do another one." They said, "Why?" He says, "Because now I know what I'm doing this time." Uh, speaking of Quentin Tarantino, I loved Pulp Fiction. Yes, we went and saw the, uh, for a while, Regal Cinemas was showing classic movies in HD format with little bonus features attached to the beginning and end, like cast and crew commentary, other stuff like that. So he had not never seen Pulp Fiction before, which is my favorite movie of all time. Try not to get hit by those, because I think they sent you somewhere. Yes, yeah, so that was the first time he ever saw it. Oh, I'm oh he's in a room. secret room. Oh, that's cool. Secret tunnels! Time for another ice rink. Whoa. And we need to cut down on the time, though. Do I just gotta kill these guys? Yeah. Too easy. What do I have equipped right now? I don't even realize it. Hey, the machine gun. Is it? No, I mean sword-wise. Uh, sword it's merciless. Yeah, though. merciless. Merciless seems to be doing a lot of damage for the quote-unquote weak weapon. Yeah. I don't know, it's supposed to be long range but have less power. But but what do I fucking know? This game is programmed. We just got an S rank with submachine guns. We can fucking throw logic out the window. Yeah. But for what for the lack of glitches we find, we just have a lot of programming errors. And a really bad combat. Well find the blue warp though, because there's supposed to be something here. It's supposed to get something oh there it is. No. The fuck? That what just do regen your devil. What do we player? get for beating these secret rooms? But they're all just, they're all, like, just kill all the enemies. I haven't seen a secret room where they make you do something like, uh... I don't know. You have to head upward. Just head up. I don't know how to get up, though. Just jump on the... Ju jump to the second floor through the edge. To the edge, I mean. There, you go. there we go. Yeah. To get Whoa! Them. Oh, they're here, too. Ah, oh, shit. Grab it, grab it. Yeah. No, dude, head for the door. I know, I was, try I was trying to press circle. I know, c circle is the dodge button here. And it's also the check stuff button, so a lot of the times you'll end up dodging instead of checking something. One of the problems I had with the Deadpool game, which I loved, was the fact that the do the special attack button and the teleport button were mapped to the same button. So a lot of the times you would, uh... Yeah. A lot of times you would, um... You would try to teleport and get a special attack instead, or vice versa. It was kind of annoying. You have to head out of the room. I haven't played the Deadpool game. I still don't really buy $60 games. Oh, I borrowed it from a friend for uh, for free. And uh, it, it's definitely worth $30, $20, $20, $30 at the most. They actually sold it at $37.50 for Toys R Us, but when I only found out, out the last day before the sale. Toys R Us actually did that with Injustice as well when it first came out. Like, the first week after it came out, it was down to, like, $40. And I think that's a really good thing for these places to do, because I know personally all my fighting game friends that were kind of on the fence about it went and bought it, because it's like, hey, if it's that cheap, why the hell not? I think more retailers need to adopt that strategy. Who to thunk it? If you offer things at reasonable prices, people buy them. You don't say. You don't say, Nicolas Cage face. What a concept. Go, you have to go back down, because this place is almost like a maze, but you, we know that we've this gone one? to that dead end. Yeah, this one. Let's see where it takes you. Because you're supposed to collect more of the sacred orbs throughout the level. There's no other way I can go out of this room besides that one. Uh, so it's probably that. Yeah, it's well, probably the, the double doors. Ah, oh, screw this. You can actually avoid them. I don't see why you But I like them. killing them. Ah, uh, you, you got more on the way. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we where we ended up. Mm-hmm. Wait, you're already here. There's something oddly familiar about this place. Because we've been here before. I'm going yeah. the wrong way. Yeah, you are. Fuck. Okay, so we what we did was go in, into, like, a lengthy circle. Very convoluted circle. Yeah, and the game didn't add any maps until the later titles. Another smart design idea. But we're really just focused on the designs of Double May Cry 2. Then again, there's really no substance to this game to keep us talking. That's the thing, though. It's like, yeah, it's very shallow, just like the combat system. There's not a lot going on. It's very lacking in game design and implementation. 
It almost feels like there's more that should have been here that just wasn't in here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's hollow. Except what kind of ideas were cut from this? Oh, there we go. Boss fight. There we go. Oh, with my old Hey, friend. it's Skeleton Demon Wolfman again. The Demon Wolfman who inspired Dante to become Jesus that one time. <laughs> Remember when he stabbed me and Dante just fell to the ground holding his sword, clutching it? And then he just came back reborn as Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. I think you can, like, you don't have to worry about the wolves here. I know, but this guy's a fucking asshole. Yeah. He can use the million stab, but Dante cannot. Yeah, th th he hasn't totally been downgraded or anything. Yeah. Wow, so, really? Just explode into Devil Trigger with that now. Oh, that's right. Devil Trigger yeah. breaks combos in this one. I forgot. And break uh, and use the dodge button. Like if you really, if you can see the dodge timing. is so slow. It doesn't matter. You have a dodge button. Use it. You're saying I need to shut up and dodge. Exactly. This is the first game to have implemented a dodge button, but it's so forgettable. Don't waste your don't waste your firepower on them because they don't. I'm trying not to, but it keeps locking onto them when no, I go on to. No, but you're in DT when that happens. But it keeps locking onto them. I don't want to lock onto them. Yeah. Except the lock on is totally useless for them. So I'm gonna shoot the wolves for DT. That's I think this it. is supposed to be a Nello Angelo uh, kind copy. of battle. Yeah. yeah it's a Nello Nello Angelo copy and paste. For you can see it oh, in the character sword. design. It's pretty apparent. Yeah, there wasn't really many like, original takes on the development of the character. It all just seems rehashed from the first game. The only real difference is the gameplay system. Remember to hold the, uh, the right Dude, trigger. I'm trying. The controls are really bad in this game. I got fast as before the first time I played the HD collection. I actually felt the 2002 or 3 feeling of first getting this game. It bored me to sleep in tears. We just finished that last level where they just literally had to do the same thing over and over again. I like how you dodged and he stabbed you right where He's you predicting right. where I'm going. The Yomi is ridiculous. The game gives him an advantage of cheating, but he's smart enough to actually use his AI. I think I just killed the one wolf. Well, I don't know if this actually counts as a legit walk. I like how he's stabbing you when no one- when no, I'm on the ground! No, technically it's not reading Dante. You know, it's better to jump to avoid his shit than, uh... Yeah, jump in Helmbreaker. No, just like, to avoid his attacks, just jump. Yeah, there's no aerial range. That didn't happen yet. Apparently nothing in this game happened yet. We're waiting for the game to finish. Somehow, Dante is the equivalent of the cybernetic ghost from Christmas Past of the Future. <laughs> you can totally see it between the games. Banana hand. Tonight, you. <laughs> I saw a really great picture online the other day. It was Carl from Aqua Teen dressed as Nappa from Dragon Ball Z. Oh, uh, what did he say? He didn't say anything. It was just a picture. Oh. But oh. it was no hilarious. captions or anything. No, no, no. It was just a picture. But it was fucking poor. Yeah, if you spam the guns, you don't get double trigger meter, do you? Uh, apparently no. not. No, you get hit, or you can hit him. I have to use a green uh, why don't orb. You, why don't you use the machine gun, actually? I am using the machine gun. No, no, I mean the atomic gun. The missile launcher. Yeah, missile gun. I don't. I, I keep forgetting <laughs> the, the atomic name. gun. Just, it's just. It doesn't look like something Dante should have. Hey, hey, that's working a lot better. And it's causing pushback. Wow, this is gonna be really stupid right now, guys. <laughs> Hit stun, be damned. What is this? MVC one? There's no hit stun. <laughs> <laughs> and we've caught the game in its own glitch now. See if you can hit him close up. I don't wanna. I'm having... Wow. Or settle for that was go. stupid. <laughs> Every time we fight a boss, something stupid happens. I yield to you, even though I have no honor and didn't even introduce you by my name. My name is No One Gives a Shit. Stabs him in the face. Sure as hell better than Bolivar or Bolivar. Bolivar. Bolivar Trask? Yeah. He created the Sentinels, oh god! From the X-Men movies. What is the second? Another one. Another one, fuck it. We, we fought him just for a collectible item. That we already have. It's like I'm playing a card game all over again. I'm playing Digimon the card game, which is actually much better explored in World 3 than the actual trading card game. Actual trading card game suck noodles. Yeah. Digimon World 3 as a game that... It plays like two games. That's what I love about it. Um, I know a lot of people that didn't even finish the main story. They just kept doing the card part. 
I'm one of them. Well, I did finish the main story, but I actually broke off another save file. Like, just to keep it around. It was Those really Digimon good. World games were great. Yeah, I one, loved them. One was the best. Well, actually, the the it's where the series was at its prime. Two is the one that sucked like this. <laughs> it was the DMC 2 of uh, Digimon games. And three was... Wait, the, which one was? Two? Uh, two was the one where you had to go underground in, like, maze domain. Oh, oh God, I remember that. that. Sucked. And you had to go, like, uh... Um, it's pretty bad even when you're a little kid and you're like, Wow, this sucks! <laughs> oddly enough, I... I I forced myself through it. Through a hundred... I don't know how many It's exactly. not good to force it, Eric. Through hundreds of turn-based battles. Oh my god, we're actually getting somewhere! How long is this damn level? Langer. Should I even bother with these fools? I think you can move through a door, but I can't say. Nope. Oh, I can. Oh yeah, you can. I had to press circle. I didn't say no. I meant to say no problem. Oh god, it's one of these fuckers! Lightning! Lightning! Fireball! Lightning! He's, I keep trying to do Stinger and he keeps doing the back thing. Crap, I'm gonna die. Yeah, like I keep thinking it's you. For some reason, this game wants me to believe that it's not the player, but rather... No, it is the player rather than the design. And this sword has a lot of range, so, you know... It does, so it's up. really saving my ass right now. Their frames are caught up in the attack. Bowling pins. Strike! That's a spare for old Dante right there. Why have you never gone bowling again? Because it's, it's expensive. expensive as balls. I've actually never been to a, one of those places. It's fun, but it's expensive. I don't want my girlfriend to cost me like 30, 40 freaking dollars. Okay, are we at the end of the mission now? Just for the shoes Almost. or the use of... The... Get it, getting in and renting the shoes. Uh, okay. The I, hell was that? I know that room. That was the office where we just fought Arius. Camera just had a little seizure right there. Or Dante's been playing with ecstasy. It's many faces because he has many faces. He took a cue from Peter Griffin. That's a cue from He-Man. Uh, many faces? I was referring to the ecstasy. Oh, the ecstasy. Yeah. Lady, I don't have to listen to you. I'm Batman. I mean Dante. <laughs> Even though I have a motorcycle. That I play card games on. And a coat that acts like a cape. That could probably fly. Son of a whore! Oh, I know this one. Actually, we're, we're gonna pause and stop here. See you next time when we cheat our way through.